Hey guys, it's MC Fixit here. I'm going to show you how you can change out your filament roll on a Creality CR6SE. This is a pretty simple technique. I'm going to walk you through all of it. I'm going to change it out to a different color as well so you can kind of see it go through the Bowden tube there. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn it on. So go ahead and turn on your printer. It will take a few seconds to upload there. And from there, you can go into controls, into temperature. And then we're going to go to the nozzle temp. Let's go ahead and put that on 200 degrees. And our nozzle temp should get up to 200 degrees. Do not pull it on the uh the filament until then you can damage uh, pretty much your entire unit so let this go ahead and climb to 200 degrees and then i'll show you what we're going to do to pull it out so after you've hit the desired amount you're going to go back and then get prepare feed and then you're going to hit return the amount you want so i'm just going to do 100 okay click the return and you will see that it will slowly over here slowly begin to feed it back up and through which is what we want you can go ahead and move this to the right hand side on your extruder and then you can go ahead and pull it out nice and slow just like that and sometimes you'll see a little bit of kind of the the end of there you can always cut that off if you have your cutters nearby i like to go ahead and just kind of cut it at the 45 degree angle that it tells you to uh, then you can go ahead and pull your spool off careful that this doesn't kind of go everywhere begin to wrap it around and most spools have little holes somewhere on it and so i like to go up and through and uh, then back through the other side just like that Set that spool off to the side. Go ahead and grab your new spool. This one's black, so it might be a little hard to see on my camera. The previous one was orange. And you're gonna go ahead and pull this. I like to go ahead and set it down in here. That typically means it's not gonna like run away on me. Same concept. I like to go after this part, 45 degree angle and cut. I'm going to move the camera over to this side so you can see a little better. So I'm going to show you there's a hole on this side right here. And sometimes you will actually get chunks that come out. And you have to try to align this up to get it in here. And it's pretty hard. You can take kind of whatever objects you have around. This is a little screwdriver and kind of help feed it in just like that and sometimes it only goes in a like quarter of the way and you have to rotate it until it goes through and it's hard to see but right over here you can see i'll pull it kind of back and forth that black part is coming in it's actually a little easier to see on the orange part and you just keep feeding it and now it's kind of down around here until it gets to where it's kind of hard to do anything go ahead at that point flip the switch back over and this is a little different filament um, this is a has a little different temperature it is a PETG and so it's a little like heavier duty and we do need to have a higher needle temp and so we will have to edit that up in one second go ahead and put that back on the spool holder so we'll come back over here and we will go to the main screen all the way back, controls, temp, and this needs to be 230. Press OK and it will start heating it up. I'm going to just kind of go back. We're not going to press it through yet. Go back to prepare, feed return, and again, it's still getting up to temperature. Okay, now we're up to temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle. Your extruder is right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and instead of hitting the return like we did last time, I'm gonna go ahead and press the feed button 
after setting it to 10. And you can start to see it is releasing some of it. And I'm just going to continue to hit that feed button a few times. Careful how close you get. There we go. I'm just trying to get it to go down. And you can start to see it changes from orange to black, which is exactly what we want that to do. And it should just continue to feed for a few more seconds. And then we will know that we are set from our other filament to our new filament. I should have done probably a different color than black. It is kind of hard to see on here. But you can see that that does pretty well to go ahead and push through that new filament. And you are set. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the description below. Right there, it just finished. So you can just pull that off right there. Thank you guys so much.